We're here with gem cutter Nolan Sponsler. Nolan, what are we working with today? Today, I've got this Umbalite Garnet. So this stone is from Umba Valley, Tanzania. What's unique about it is that it's color changing. So depending on what light frequency you have it under, it'll appear more pink or red. So under lighting like my lamps for my faceting machine, it'll appear more red. And then you take it outside into uh, normal daylight and it'll appear more pink. To be doing my lotus cut. This lotus cut will have concave cuts along the girdle as well as a V groove cut inside of the concave cut. So it'll have a 60 degree V cut in the girdle with a mandrel cut, which will give it the appearance of this lotus flower petal pattern along the outer edge of the stone. And we're going to end up making a ring with this as well. So I, I get people saying all the time that oh, it's a cool stone, but how are you supposed to set it with that shape? I'll show you. So I put a layer of wax on the dop first. While the dop's hot and the wax is hot, I press that dop flat on this target dop, which then flattens the wax on the dop. And it leaves a layer of wax in between the dop and your stone so that when you go to transfer the stone, you heat the dop and it just falls right off because the wax melts. So you don't even have to worry about heating the stone up. So now that I uh, got the dop wax flattened out, I then use Loctite 404. Apply some glue, press this back down. Make sure it's all aligned correctly setting accelerator so that it hardens the glue. That's it. Roughed in, I'm just using a rough grit lap to just rough in the shape. I'm not polishing it or anything. I'm just getting it to the shape and size we need it right now. Change the lap from a 250 topper to a 1200 crystallite centered lap. This lap is one of my favorites. Uh, this is right before I go to the pre-polish. Helps me get all of my facets really sharp and level and crisp uh, because it's this hard steel, thick seal centered lap. It leaves a really flat facet. Right now, free rotating the stone. I also have the mass locked in place, so it's getting it perfectly even.
thousand grit lat to pre-polish. Seems to be a good grit to go to the next polishing stage. I'm um, also using a bat lap, which is, in my opinion, the best pre-polish and polishing laps you can use. They're a 10 alloy made by Gearless. Super nice. Wow.